kid and shoving my microphone in my face. Yeah. He's like, fuck you in particular. Oh, yeah. You'll have to censor that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> so, hey, post production Nate, fuck you in particular. Thank you. So, <laughs> um, I honestly, you know, this whole subreddit, I've had, I've had just moments where I'm convinced that my thing is just like, F you in particular, Nathan Hamilton. And it's just like, what, what did I do to deserve it? And you know what, and you know what you have to do to deserve things going bad for you? Nothing. Things can just go bad on you in a heartbeat and... You just gotta suck it. The world is full of RNG. Yes, and infinitely, like, like, r like, just rotating sets of circumstances. Just it, like the washing machine. Oy. Yeah. Those of you who didn't see our Mr. Beast reaction, we had an incident with the washing machine leaking water out, and uh, thankfully it seems like everything's good now, so no problems. So... All that being said, though, um, I'm glad that we got it resolved, and uh, now I guess uh, it's not fuck you in particular, it's just, to, like, fuck the circumstances, I guess. I don't know. But either way, we have an MK video here that says, F you in particular, he was shocked. Here we go. Some dinosaurs look super cool, and then there's this guy. Look at this idiot. Oh, hey, isn't that the one from that movie, <laughs> Dinosaurs? One of them was chasing him around the entire time. Look at those little stubbies. Man, I feel bad. I don't know what Bert did in my local. What? Pork pies, 250. Scotch eggs, 150. Sausage rolls, two. Warm or cold. Black pudding, free with any cob, except Bert. Bert, what did you do? Honestly, I think most of us will be waiting with bated breath to to find out exactly what Bert did. What? He kicked out Ernie. That's what he did. <laughs> like, Bert, Bert, did you really have to kick me out of the, the apartment? He's like, Ernie, you haven't paid rent in six months. Go, like, go to your mother's house. What the hell did he do? Wisconsin man banned from all libraries on Earth. How do you do that, though? <laughs> <laughs> I get, hold on. He a fire. <laughs> it, no, I know what he did. I know what he did. He used the papers in the library books to, like, roll joints. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Gar like, I about guarantee you. He was, he was just like, I didn't have no paper. <laughs> and I didn't have no cigar to make a blunt. So instead, I used... What are they I called? Used... Swisher, Swisher Sweets? Yeah. What are they called? He's like, I didn't, got, I didn't have a Swisher. I didn't have a Black and Mild. Hell, I didn't even have a cigarette. What so, I did have. Was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Oh so my god. fired him up. So I decided to set some fire to them pages. As a matter of fact, I used a specific segment from that book specifically. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Dumbledore said calmly. <laughs> that ain't how that motherfucker said it in the movie. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. How do you ban anyone from any one place on Earth or one set of places, I guess? How do you do that? How can you even say that? I don't understand. And yeah, what do you have to do to get punished that way? Hey, Dad, can I see you for Father's Day? Which one of my kids is this? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Have a good one, Dad. <laughs> I mean, it's Dad's day, not your day. <clears throat> Oven in the making. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow, no, no, no. that's... Just the most unfortunate parking spot ever, I suppose. Sorry, pal. Dog travels more than 100 kilometers to bite its owner after being abandoned. Damn straight. Damn. Good dog. Nice. Good dog. I just hate this particular room, okay? Oh, my God. Not what I was expecting. No. That is a well-made house, though. The amount of weight that is up there? Holy crap. Wow. Who built that thing By the you? way, I happened to find it on my phone the other day because I thought it was gone. But, uh, oh, did you find the one with like in the power line? Yes, I did. <laughs> All the right. The one that was here is in the power line. Yes. Okay. So, Nick, you'll have to like send me that photo immediately because I want to include it in this video. Now he's gonna refind it. Let me know if you when you find it. It was here somewhere. 
I know it's weird. How'd that even happen? Wasn't it was it a police chase? I don't know. There was one police chase that happened. My mom saw it happen. It was on State Street. Guy like crashed into there it the is. Yeah. God. You gotta send me that. Send, I yeah. can't even. Send me that right now. Because, uh, yeah, either on Facebook, yeah, preferably Facebook, because it'll be easier to download. But, dude. Would you get electrocuted if you did if that happen? Potentially. But, honestly, my, my thing is, I just see, see stuff like that, I'm just like, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, the picture, by the way was very close to where my parents and sister live. And That's also where we lived. This too. picture was taken by my sister and sent to me. So. That is a level of fucked I can't even imagine to to like think of like how badly you had to mess up to do that. Yeah, it definitely deserves to be on this <laughs> subreddit. Yes. Oh, shit. Turned it off. There we go. You ready to get back to it? Nick? Uh, yeah, I'll just text my mom back real fast. Okay, sorry. Woo! I'm really happy we got to see the other side. At least it was a mostly empty room, as far as I can tell. Like, just a... Nah, the car... That car really hated that treadmill. <laughs> a treadmill? And a little bed in there? Hopefully no one... Oh, hold on a second. I see those supports. I see those supports. Do they have any underneath, <clears throat> you know, because there's still a car on the second floor? When you find that guy that had to evolve and is the reason we're working nine to five and paying taxes, you know, that son of a bitch <laughs> just had to, didn't he? Had to discover fire, make a wheel, and now we all have to live in a society. That's bullshit. And you know what? I'm glad that guy's been dead for a little while. At least he, he's been dead for at least two years, at the very, very least. Don't even ask how this happened. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have wow. How did that happen? To ask how that happened. Alrighty, here at Loretta's, we've got no alcohol, no profanity, no smoking, no nudity, no penguins. Well, what the hell is penguins? the point? I was going to say, I'm walking in there with a penguin under my arm, a fucking, like, bottle of, open bottle of Jack Daniels in one hand, a lit cigarette in my mouth, Hanging dong, yelling, fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I must have watched the Casual Geographic video. <gasps> of those penguins. The, the yeah, penguins. maybe. Maybe. I'm going to your place. nothing to do with those penguins. Then, I don't even know what you do. And I already know that it's pointless to go. I can't be naked or bring my penguin friends. Screw you, dude. That's just not cool. It's Damn, actually Loretta's. quite offensive. I'm sorry if you were born in April or December. How many people have a crush on you? Okay, let's see. January, two people. <laughs> oh, February, one person. March, 14 people. April, no one. May, five people. June, two ghosts? Two ghosts. <laughs> Damn, I feel insulted. I'd rather have no one than two ghosts. It's just like... I'd rather have the ghosts, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. It's just like... Well, you could share one of yours with Nick. I was going to say, for me, I'm looking at that June one. I'm just... I, I'm reminded of just like... Like, hey, you want to go on a date with me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be dead. It's like... It's like, I have, a, I have to go to my funeral tomorrow. But you're not dead. <laughs> Bye, Brian. From as the movie. <laughs> July, 146 people. Damn. August, three people. September, your whole area. October, only one right next to you. Thank God there's no one next to me. November, 500 people. Wow. December, even money can't help you have a crush. <laughs> yeah, whoever <laughs> made this definitely <laughs> wanted to dunk on his friends for sure. Because I, I, I'm guaranteeing you his favorite and bestest friends actually have their birthdays in April and December, and he wants to shit on them for sure. That's what it feels like. Okay? A pet-friendly shop. Except for bears, we're not going through that again. Well, that's... Huh? <laughs> you say to Bart the Bear stop by and take a big honking shit right in the middle of your... <laughs> right in the middle of the place? 
just fair. It's not even screw you in particular. It's just completely fair. Leaky pipe in a parking lot. Oh my good lord, I am so Whoa. sorry, dude. Was this parking garage in Antarctica by any chance? Jeez. Or Minnesota? I have nothing to say in what is new. All I know is I have a very unpleasant granddaughter. Damn. Okay, I can understand. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> And that screw you fortune cookie consumer you just ate poison okay well this one's stupid Damn. poor people don't deserve love you know as a poor person you're right millions of verified singles download to date now tinder minus the poor people <laughs> you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this website and i'm gonna ruin some people's day i'm gonna waste all their Good. time and then let them know yeah i'm poor <gasps> Oh, it's gonna ruin everything. Why does this? I was actually always... told that if it was not financially possible for me to go have a vasectomy, that I didn't need to be in a relationship with anyone. What? By a woman. Okay. Um... I'm not friends with her anymore. She can go fuck herself. I could say. I don't even know what to I, say. I was going that. to say, to go like, like, go like sit on a cactus like that's all i can say fuck off always poop on my porch i'm constantly having to clean it off it's just getting annoying because it's his porch <laughs> i have quickly realized that <laughs> yeah what are the odds meteorite hits a woman sipping coffee on her terrace in rare astronomical accident Interestingly, the value of meteorite stones can go up to a thousand dollars per gram. Yeah. Also, how can this even remotely be true? Hasn't there only been one actual reported incident of a meteorite striking a human being? And it was like 80 years ago or something. Mm -hmm. Something like I think that's killed. Whereas I think this didn't kill her. It may have just injured her very badly. That. Not a Gouda way to go. Okay. Italian man crushed to death under thousands of wheels of hard cheese. Yeah! That's one of the most Italian ways to go, brother. <laughs> At least he went out being buried in $20 million worth of anything. Screw Roland and his walrus-like physique. Hey, Holy hey. My name's not Ooh. Roland, it's Nathan. And I'm not that fat. The walrus was given a floating couch in order to stop him from sinking boats. <laughs> well, that's awfully nice. Looks like my brother Roland. <laughs> Fat as an overstuffed walrus. Maybe you should talk to him about that. Saw this on YouTube and damn! Invincible's great supporting cast, except for Amber. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that video floating around. Oh, and somebody's freaking salty that Amber's not just instantly forgiving, apparently. Well, I mean, Amber, well, both her and Mark made mistakes in their relationship, but I'll say Amber was a lot less, you know, pliable in the relationship. I mean, that's, that's all I gotta say about it. I've since cooled on my, like, my, my distaste for Amber, but eh, I still think I still think her and Mark are just a bad matchup. The hell did Amber do? Must have gotten a car wash. Seen in Brooklyn. Oh god dang it. <laughs> of course. It happens every time. Also, that beamer is parked way too close to that car. Maybe that's what they saw. They were just like, yeah, this beamer deserves to get shit on relentlessly by a bunch of pigeons. Fuck this beamer. Just like right after I bought my car, it started hailing for like a month straight. So I had to hide it as much as I could. A bee just landed on my t-shirt while looking at my face and left. Well, what did you do? You probably deserved it. Can't have Damn. crap in Quebec. Or Quebec. Quebec. Can't have crap Quebec. in Quebec. There we go. Quebec. That's the right pronunciation. And yeah. Wow. That's unfortunate. I can't help you, though. Michelle. Cannot contain bad word. Hell. Are you shitting me? I mean, I guess for now, just take one of the L's out, right? Then you win. Screw you on a psychological level. You are now breathing manually. You are now blinking manually. You are now aware of the fact your clothes are touching your skin. You're now aware that there's no comfortable place for you to put your tongue in your mouth. You're now aware that your jaw has weight and you're holding it up. You're now aware that every time you swallow, you hear a little crackle. You're now swallowing and producing saliva manually. <laughs> <laughs> you are now aware that you have an itch somewhere on your body. I'm going to see if that one works here. We'll, we'll go back. God dang it. None of these actually work on me. 
I do have an itch, and it's like right here on my hip. You are now aware that your nose is always in your line of sight. <laughs> so? That's true, actually. That last one. Close one of your eyes, and boom, there's your nose. It, it pops back into frame. Thank God for the way that both of our eyes work together. Also, nice try. I'm immune to this crap now. If you think you're having a bad day, Dan, 21, split with his girlfriend the day before her family won $61 million, including her sister's boyfriend getting $12 million. <laughs> Woof! Woof! Dan! Dan! Oh, so, that sucks. Wait, what? Jesus, dude. Wow! I Screw mean, these sometimes, six. I don't know what their situation was, but sometimes peace of mind is worth a lot more than a fuck ton of money. Hopefully for him, it was for his own mental health. <laughs> I don't... I, I, I know the, the whole thing, mo money, a lot of people say mo money, more problems, but I, I, to quote old dirty bastard, mo money, more problems, my ass. Because I'd rather... I'd rather have a lot of problems that money would fix. Yes. Uh, that, but... A giant fucking hole in my teeth. Debt. Yes. I'd, I'd, I'd settle for the $12 million. I would have waited, like, a couple more days for the breakup and just been, like... And, like, after, like, she gave me, like, hell, $2 million. Well, he didn't know it was coming. I know, so. but, but... Oh, man. Just sucks. Also, yeah, these fish... These fish, they, um... They put the, they put the cereal in after the milk. That's why they got... That's why God's doing this to them. That's a cool photo, though. I love the photo. It's a great photo. Fish in particular. Well, no, not at all. If those did indeed strike at the same time, what, you think they're going to go in the same places again? You think they, t you know what, it doesn't matter. I don't care, it's lightning. I don't care, dude. Smite! Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm getting mixed <laughs> signals from this image. I was going to say, I wonder if, like, God is hitting that with lightning to, like, try and bring it to life. It's like Frankenstein's monster are just like, all of a sudden, like, like, like the statue of Jesus comes to life, and it's just like, it's just like, I have returned. Then he like walks down past the favelas and everything, and like walks to where all the rich people are in in Rio, and literally just like stomps all their houses. <laughs> Is this supposed to mean something? All packed for the boys, except you, Jerry. S'mores, none for Jerry. Damn straight. Damn. Screw you, Jerry. <laughs> Bootleggers Bar and Grill. Screw you, Gary, you snitch. Well, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Gary. You snitched? You ain't coming back to the bar. No. Tell you that right. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> You were thinking SpongeBob. Spongebob. I'm thinking Fallout. <laughs> it's like... And I'm just like, oh no. Meow. Meow. Now, bought a 12-pack of Dove soap. They all came out like this. Huh, someone took them to the belt grinder. Oh. What the hell? I would be pissed. Before shipping them out, that's great. You're, you're losing a lot. You lost like a fifth uh, of your bar see. of soap. Da -da -da. MBA, beautiful girl from rich family business background. Seeks blah, 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 blah. Bit. Doctor, industrialist, businessman. Software engineers kindly do not call. Oh, is it because Damn. people that work in software are all ugly neckbeards? Is that what you think? Yeah, it probably is exactly what you think. All right, let's see here. Korean girl, Yuna Song. Hot Korean girls. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny, but there is a reason for that. The character <laughs> Characters were probably stereotypically portrayed uh, in a weird way. What are these? I remember seeing this actually. I do too. I can't remember what it it's was, um, from, but I caught interview. this. Was it? Because we looked it up last right, time. Right, okay. right, right, right. Yeah. Damn. Or by the way, hold on, I'm trying to see if I recognize any names, and I do not. What the hell was this for? Yep. <laughs> now I'm just curious. I'm gonna have to hunt this movie down. Best soap for removing David Spade. Excuse me? This soap is hands down the best on the market. It's light, smells amazing, especially the pomplamousse. Pomplamousse. <coughs> it will awaken your senses. Wait. Oh, and it will remove any stench left over by an encounter with David Spade's comedy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Damn. Well, David Spade and small doses can be funny. 
Or when he has a good, like, comedic partner to work with, such as, oh, gee, I don't know, Chris Farley. Tommy Boy is one of my favorite comedies of all time, hands down. Have you ever seen that, Kate? We got a movie night. We, we got a movie night. It's a good I'm film. glad that you actually did talk about the soap, though, and didn't, you know, just make the joke. I do appreciate it. Anya Shalotra's Shalotra. not beautiful. Um, that's, that's, uh, they're talking about, not Tris, but, um. Yennefer? Thank you. For God's sakes, brain, why do you do this? They're talking about Yen. Anya Shalotra is, is Yen, or is Yennefer from, uh. The Witcher. From, yeah, The Witcher. Beautiful the by current series. standards, according to casting director Sophie Holland. Okay, let's see. Oh, right, standards I did hear about stupid, this. So casting cares? director Sophie Holland says uh, Anya, is it Chalotra or Shalotra? Shalotra? Never mind. Casting as Yennefer of Vengerberg in Netflix's adaptation of The Witcher was intended to challenge beauty standards. I feel like there is... Uh, something behind that quote. I feel like words are being twisted here. I feel like I feel like that's nonsense because Anya Chalotra is a beautiful mm. woman and it was like you're saying that she's not stereotypically be dude when you learn about Yennefer how she originally looked in like when she when we were first introduced to her like dude come on and Anya Chalotra is a beautiful woman like like that's basically you basically being backhand and just being like, see, we're casting someone who doesn't fit the beauty standard. And I guarantee Andy Chalotra saw this and she was just like, what the fuck? Like, it's like, bitch, I'm beautiful. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, to speak. Is th okay, hold on. Let me let me pause my brain for just a second here. No, no. I, I tried to think of it for a second. I tried to really think on that. What they meant by challenge beauty standards. And yeah, Sophie Holland. What's your damn problem, dude? Exactly. Taco Bell gives away free tacos in every state except New Jersey. I mean, I get it. Just free an tacos. incredible media buy in a local Australian paper today. Dear Steve, I hope you're happy with her. Now the whole town will know what a filthy cheater you are. Woo! From Jenny. P.S. I bought this ad using your credit card. Card. Oh, nice. <laughs> savage! Damn, what a savage move! <laughs> hey, it's the least you could do. A man named Walter Summerford was struck by lightning three times in his life. After his death, his gravestone was also struck. I don't believe that for a minute, actually. He. Wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's 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 look at this. One eternity later. It's basically the accepted story, the incredible true story. I would say, like, there's enough evidence here to say plausible. Yeah. After his death, his gravestone was also struck. I don't believe that for a minute, actually. He did the frog dirty. It's called the dirty frog, and it's actually not that hard a move to pull off. Idiot frog walks into a wall like the stupid amphibian he is. Hey man, he's doing his best, come on. Game notes, using a stethoscope to listen to the heart, cardiologists can detect narrow valves, valve leakage, and or abnormal rhythm. Don't bother asking him to check your heart though, Becky. That crushed Titanic sub has more life inside of it than that collapsed troll cave you call a chest cavity. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. 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 Woo. The savagery God, on display. This is that a Rockies game too? D Jesus, Becky, what the hell did you do? Hey, old lady who stole our doormat. You should probably just bring it back. That's super weird, and you're way <coughs> too old for this. <coughs> yeah, that's a hell of a Sorry. burn, I must say. <laughs> Peggy Jones was mowing the grass on her property when a snake fell from the sky and gripped her arm. A hawk then swooped down and attacked. Okay, I feel like the hawk dropped the snake and then had to frantically try and get it back. Because, of course, the snake falling from the sky, it only makes sense at that point I in time. Would but, uh, <laughs> damn that blurred picture of her arm, oh though. My Woo, gosh. That thing it really went for her. All courts are for Dennis only. If I'm sensing an always sunny joke here. <laughs> Guarantee you, he hung that up on the courts, basically just being like, I don't want anyone else to use these courts. Like, Dennis, you can't play tennis by yourself. He's like, watch me, Frank. If you have a problem, talk to Dennis. Yeah, I mean, if Dennis paid for the courts, I guess he can be selfish. Oh, Dylan. Dear kitchen team, could you please flush the toilet? Thank you. <laughs> D-Y-L-A-N. 
Not calling anyone out here now. We don't do that. We don't single any of our employees out. Meteorite hits woman in France while she was having coffee on Terrace. Oh, so this is the second one of these we've seen. Uh, did it happen? Is this? Here, let me do a quick Google. All right, uh, just literal first link I clicked on says woman in France hit by suspected meteorite because I guess there's no real evidence that it is or something like that, or rather there's just a bunch of skeptics. I don't know, but I'm inclined to believe it. Uh, who gives a shit if it's true or not? Like, what's <laughs> she stand to gain from lying, right? No rain for Texas. Damn, God really said absolutely none for y'all. 35. <laughs> 5 to 44 are the fat ages. Yep, I'm getting there. I... Wow, look at that. Look at that. Jacked, jacked, fucked, jacked, jacked. <laughs> Can't wait. Well, it's good to know that at least I'll be jacked again when I hit 45. Yeah. It just sucks I'm going to have to wait another nine years to be jacked again. Yeah. 28-day personalized workout plan according to age. Yeah, I don't understand. Why between 35 and 44 do you have to be fat or chubby or whatever? Also, really? You think anyone's going to look like that at 55 plus? Come on, man. It looks like he's getting younger. <laughs> I was going to say, he went from looking like... He went from looking like a Nordic... A Nordic, like, wild man... To being Chris Evans from uh, fucking Captain America. <laughs> As time goes on. This is weird, dude. Screw Frank in particular. I don't want to. Oh, he played fat ass. <laughs> I... <laughs> I know what that's from. That's from Shawshank. That's from Shawshank Redemption. I know that. Ha! Oh. Really? Uh, yes. I, yeah, because fat ass was, was a prisoner that was brought in with Henry, Henry Dufresne in the beginning of the film. And then there's Rooster, who's one of the sodomites that works with Boggs. And then, of course, the 46th judge and the 47 parole hearings guy. This is the judge that sentenced Andy, and this is the people during the parole hearings that uh, denied Red his parole at the time. Mm. Hmm. I'm going to die alone. I need to see some of these movies just so I can see these legendary credits. A blood-filled tick attached to a dinosaur feather trapped in 100 million year old amber. Man, those goddamn ticks, dude. They're everywhere and I guess they, they always, always will be. be. Take uh, only the photo. Beginning of Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Those leave only footprints. Kill only Tim. Please stay on the trails. Is Tim a danger? Do I have to kill Tim? Do yes. not hire Todd Winstead. For more info, call this number here. Okay, I won't. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a lawyer kind of thing. Like this, uh, like these got this company hired Todd Winstead as their lawyer and he fucked them over. So now they permanently have this on the outside of their of their business just Somebody to say. Somebody must fuck. have screwed their business over hard somehow. Must have. I don't need to call you, trust me. Screw your toilet in particular. Jeez, it really did mess that shit up. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> He's gonna say Zeus Zeus just dropped in and like murked that toilet, dude. Man. Dude, what the hell did you eat, man? All tabs left open at 2 a.m. are closed with a 15% gratuity. Unless you're Tony D, we add 50% for him. Damn, I have to wonder just how crappy of a person Tony has to be. What, is he abusive to the staff? Has he stolen from y'all before? I mean, I get it. 20 years ago today, we opened our hearts and our disc trays with the launch of the <laughs> PS2. Congrats on 20 years. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn, Xbox was coming in trying to be nice, and Sony was just like, fuck you and everything you stand for. It's like, bro, calm down. Yeah, I don't think PlayStation of all... Well, I mean, well, I can't say that for sure. PlayStation can be a salty p just like anybody else, but they are still, like, the biggest, I guess. What did the turtle do there. to you, man? What'd they do? Translate this sentence. I cannot read that at all, but I like everything except turtles. So you're like the opposite of that oh, kid that likes kid. turtles, yeah. right? You're the opposite of him. That seems kind of mean. Are you just being a contrarian for fun? Cashmere Funk had his content stolen twice now. What? Who? Who? I don't know what that means. Cashmere Funk? Let's see here. Wrong to think this is obnoxious? 
Got put in the wrong mailbox, opened it because I got curious. Happy birthday. OP gets birthday card stolen twice. I'll just leave wow. this here as OP is not the OP. Calling Cashmere Funk. Damn, I've been stolen from twice now. Hmm. The man, the myth, the legend has returned. Who is that? Cashmere <laughs> Funk, I guarantee you, is like a legendary poster on Reddit. And he probably posted this a long time ago. And someone just reposted it at random on here. And they called out, like, hey, you, this isn't yours. OP poster is here. And then Cashmere Funk showed up and been like, damn, it's the second time this shit's happened. Also, yeah, looking at that image up there, um, you don't get to get curious. You don't get to do that. That is against the goddamn law yes. to just open someone else's mail and then admit you did it because you were curious. It's not yours. You broke the law, and I would be furious. Screw Bob. My wife says that I have the fashion sense of a colorblind pimp. Not saying she's <laughs> wrong, though. I heard this one at work. Having Bob on your team is like having two good workers quit. Damn, I've been bad Damn. at jobs before, but if anybody ever made that joke at my expense I would quit I wouldn't want to work there anymore me like, neither if you think that lowly of me I'm sorry I'm out of here for my own goddamn health and that's all there is to it damn well that's that's amazing that was some that was quite some like screw you in particular stuff there man I mean damn I didn't expect that Damn. All right. So, <laughs> once again, leave it to MK to just completely, just completely show us stuff that just makes us introspectively look and just be like, damn, what, what is, what is my life? It's like the, them showing like the fat ass credit and then me going on the whole diatribe and then me realizing, oh God, I am that big of a nerd. I am going to die alone. That's that that was my mental journey with that. God. All right, though. Anyway, so yeah, F you in particular. So, I guess until next time everybody. Sent what Asher? What is it, buddy? You all right? <laughs> and he's back down. Okay. Well, until next time everyone. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>